All right, we're here at my 17 week appointment. So let's head into the lobby and get to this appointment. Hello, I'm just checking in for my 1030 appointment. Uh, I did lab work on week eight, like my pre-initial appointment. Were you offered any genetic screening or anything like that? I think she did at the last one, and I, I probably declined. Okay. When yeah. will you be 35? January. Okay. And your baby's due? April. So I'm going to be a geriatric deliverer. <laughs> <laughs> Geriatric deliver, I like it. <laughs> yeah, or advanced maternal age. There you go. However you want to say it. So I'm going to order a, a, an anatomy ultrasound from maternal fetal medicine. I think that I have that next Friday. Okay. I think it's booked. Perfect. At 7.30 in the morning. Oh, yeah, that's it. So with that... Um, because you're advanced maternal age, um, mm -hmm. they'll also do a gross scan usually um, in the third trimester. So I just got done with my appointment. Baby's heart rate was 146 beats per minute. That's it. <laughs> um, my midwife, well, it's a different midwife that I saw this time as opposed to last time. Ooh. Kevin's truck. She wrote me a prescription for a pregnancy pillow. Yay! So many things change with each pregnancy. When I was pregnant with Ikaika, we were not given breast pumps. Had to buy my own. Obviously, had to buy my own pregnancy pillow. It was a dream. Not that it's necessary. Some people could even say a breast pump is not necessary, but um, neither of those were covered. Then two years later, pregnant with Nella and the breast pump was covered by insurance, not a pillow. And I actually didn't even have a pregnancy pillow with Nella because I donated my pregnancy pillow from when I was pregnant with Ikaika. I don't know how I did that, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe it was the position of Nella and Ikaika that made a difference. I don't know. But anyways, with this baby, just recently, like the past couple weeks, I've been having trouble getting comfortable in bed. So when I found out that pregnancy pillows were covered by insurance, I said, oh, sign me up. Because the one I had with Ikaika was a Leech Co. And that one cost like $80. And there are much more expensive pregnancy pillows out there. I don't even know what the options are. I'm about to head over to the mini mall on post. I'm still on post. But I'm going to head over to the mini mall and give them my prescription and see what they have available. And I don't know. If they don't have something that I really want, then I guess I can order it. That's what my midwife said. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm really that picky unless what they have available today is just complete trash. But I feel like anything would be better than nothing, which is what I'm working with right now. So <laughs> anyways, going to head over to the mini mall. Pray that I don't get lost because... I can't stand driving on post, especially going in that area because the roads suck. At least they do to me. I don't know. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Aloha.
Aloha, you guys. I just wanted to come on here real quick. I wanted to edit my video and get it uploaded so that I could put another video out. <laughs> and I didn't want it to be out of order. But anyways, I just wanted to wrap this video up and say that I did go to the pharmacy. I was at the wrong location. I had a feeling that I was. And then I went across the street or across the parking lot to where I was supposed to be. And then the woman working there proceeds to tell me that the midwife wrote my prescription incorrectly. She wrote breast, no, what did she write? Oh, she wrote pregnancy pillow. And it's supposed to be written a specific way or insurance does not cover it or something like that, she was saying. So whatever. And then she's like, well, we don't have any in stock anyways, so you wouldn't be able to get one. And I was like, okay. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go without a pregnancy pillow for a little while longer. I don't know. And they said that it was only the J hook style. Now I, I have read on like, you know, a Fort Bragg wives page that I can go elsewhere. I don't, I don't know what the place is called, but there's another location that I can go to that is not on post and maybe they have other options, but I don't know. I might, I might just like look online and see what I can buy out of pocket. I don't know. Or maybe someone has one that they're just not using anymore. So yeah. Anyways, a lot of other stuff that is given through insurance or covered through insurance now like a belly band for postpartum which I actually have one and I'm supposed to do some content on that because it was given to me from Kea Babies. I just haven't done it yet because I didn't announce that I was pregnant on like Facebook and Instagram and all that kind of stuff so I gotta get that done but um yeah so breastfeeding supplies Pregnancy pillow, the belly band, there might be something else, but I don't know. I have it in a bag somewhere. I don't even know where I put the bag. Anyways, that is it. No pregnancy pillow. Um, everything's good. I had my 18-week anatomy scan today. I was going to say prenatal checkup, but I didn't have a prenatal checkup. Um, so let me get this video up, and then I will edit and upload the anatomy scan video. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and following me along this journey. Our vasectomy reversal baby, baby number three. We're so excited. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Aloha. Ahoy ho.